Hi, my name is Mary Jane and I'm the Customer Development Manager for Johnny Walker Princess Street and all our brand homes in Scotland. So those are distilleries that you can visit across Scotland. Um, I've been with the company for nearly seven years, um, moved up from London a few years ago um, and joined the company um, initially at Glenkinchy Distillery where I was a, as a tour guide. And over the years, uh, whiskey tourism has become increasingly popular and um, the company's really keen to invest and build, build on that popularity. So yeah, there's been a lot of exciting things happening recently. Our, our whiskies are popular all over the world. Uh, Johnny Walker is the most, world's most popular Scotch whiskey. It's sold in 180 countries around the world. And um, for us, Johnny, opening Johnny Walker Princes Street is really the first time that people have had somewhere to visit the home of, of Johnny Walker in the world, in Scotland. Um, it's hugely exciting and we're just looking forward to getting international visitors coming back. Um, we can't wait to welcome them. The um, project was announced uh, probably about four years ago now, so it, it's been a few years in, in the making and it's really an investment in Scotch whisky tourism across the whole country. Um, a big part of the investment was opening Johnny Walker and building and opening Johnny Walker Princes Street in this amazing building here in the centre of Edinburgh. Um, but it's also um, looking at uh, different distilleries in the collection across Scotland. We have our Four Corner distilleries, which have been recently and are still in the process of being launched. We've got Glenkinchy in the Lowlands, it's the regional home of Johnny Walker in the Lowlands, Cardew in Speyside, um, Klein Leash up in the Highlands, and Kalila in the summer is going to launch as the Isla home of Johnny Walker. Plus we've got lots of other distilleries as well across Scotland that, that are open to the public and people can visit. In terms of things that are happening or still to happen this year, uh, we're relaunching Talisker Distillery on the Isle of Skye. Um, it's going to look amazing. Um, the Singleton of Glen Ord, which is just outside Inverness, is uh, going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, and Kalila, our, our fourth corner, our regional home of Johnny Walker in, in the summer. So we're just really making our experiences immersive, personalised. Um, you know, there's a kind of level of immersion and that personalization that, that's not really been done before in this in this kind of whiskey tourism visiting a, a brand home i think for us we we're new you know we're we're the new kids on the block in terms of experiences certainly in in the center of um, edinburgh and the whole concept particularly with johnny walker princess street was to really build um, a center where people could come and have just an amazing time. Whether they like whiskey, whether they know it already, whether they're curious, whether they maybe don't even like whiskey, um, just come and have a great time. Um, find out a little bit more about what we do and um, just immerse themselves in Scotland. You know, whiskey is such a huge part of the culture of, of Scotland. And, um, you know, Johnny Walker is a, a huge brand in the world. And we're, you know, really excited to be able to give give everyone somewhere to visit uh, uh, and learn about more about our story um, and, and what we do. This is one of our two rooftop bars. So the Explorer's Bothy is um, just an amazing whiskey bar. Um, we've got a pretty phenomenal collection of whiskies that you can, you can sample here. We actually do tastings in the afternoon in the Explorer's Bothy. Um, you can come along, taste a flight of, of whiskies. And then um, in the evening, it opens up as just a fabulous bar where you can have uh, drinks and bites to eat. The other rooftop bar is called the 1820 Bar and it got its name because that was the year that John Walker first opened his grocery store in, um, in Kilmarnock. Um, that is just a fabulous bar where you can pretty much have anything you like. It's not limited to, to whiskey. Um, you can have uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, just fabulous world-class drinks. You know, we do drinks really well um, at Johnny Walker. So, and non-alcoholic options as well. We're conscious that not everybody wants to, wants to consume alcohol when they visit us. So, you know, there's something, something for everybody. 
one thing I really try to convey when I speak to the um, travel industry is about every one of our sites is different. You know, whether it's one of our company's distilleries or, or not, every, every place has its own unique identity. You know, we talk about it in terms of its own thumb, thumbprint. The whiskey is unique, the experience is unique, and the people that you meet there is, is different everywhere. What I love about uh, Johnny Walker Prince's Street is that it's so accessible. Um, you just come and have, you just learn a story. You come, I mean, for me, in, in the building, my favorite parts are probably the theatrical element on that Journey of Flavor tour, where we mix um, technology with live action and you just get so immersed in, in the story of, of John Walker. And also making your own highball in our grocer's sensorium where you just get to put your ice in and, and it magically that dispenser will magically pour your your personal um, flavor preference highball um, is just is just great.